What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to be doing a Magic Online Lord of the Rings draft today. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that does anything for you guys. Also, be sure to check out Factor. Factor is a delivery meal serv a meal delivery service. Uh, I think they were purchased by HelloFresh in the past few years, and unlike HelloFresh, the the, the meals are all pre-made. They're pre-made. They're made with extremely fresh and healthy ingredients, like antibiotic-free stuff, um, and they come prepared, so you don't actually have to cook them. You just heat them up, and uh, they got really good reviews, and you guys can <clears throat> try them with the code on the screen or in the chat or in the YouTube description, factor SE4359699, uh, not nice, and... Um, Get 50% off your first box. So even if you don't continue after that, it's totally fine. Totally understand. It's up to you. But 50% uh, off your first box, even if you just get the one, still pretty good. So definitely check them out. I also think Sammy sent me like, t Sammy Relaxin' Sam, Sammy M sent me like 20 bucks <laughs> in order to play some drafts. So you're a, a true champion. You're a true hero. I'm going to just try this for now because we had the play points for it. <clears throat> and then we're going to hop right into this bad boy. So. What meals did you get? Uh, none yet. I have yet to place an order. Um, I just started the sponsorship like a day ago. So, um, I before I take any sponsorship though, I actually do pretty extensive reviewing to make sure I like the thing. There's like nine uh, available sponsorships in my stream elements uh, like dashboard or yeah, I think it's stream elements. Yes. No. Yes, it is. It's stream elements in the dashboard and like they're all games. They're all for like mobile games. But then I, re then I like <clears throat> I'll research the mobile games to make sure I'd even like them. And if I don't like them, I don't do them. Um, and a lot of them are like very, very heavily pay to play. And so I don't want to be like, Hey guys, play for this. Blah, 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 blah. Um, like I think Raid Shadow Legends is the one I, um, am most inclined to do just because it's the most well known, <clears throat> but a lot of them are just like, I, if I don't feel comfortable playing something or using like something like a service, like I'm probably not going to be promoting it. Um, so that's why, like, I, I had a, I had a, uh, sponsorship for both HelloFresh again and Factor. And I chose Factor because I thought it would be a cool change because it's basically just kind of like HelloFresh, but the meals are pre-made for you. So if you want like meal prepping, they're never frozen. They just, they refrigerate them and they send them refrigerated and then you just put them in the fridge and heat them up and eat them. Um, but yeah, I mean... It seemed like a cool, uh, cool option for people who want who want some decent meals, like for meal preppers or people who are just looking to not have to cook. And like the if there's one thing I don't like about HelloFresh, and I do love HelloFresh, but if there's one thing I don't like, it's having to like you get home from work and you're like, oh man, I have to like get all these ingredients out, and then I have to cook this in one step, and then I have to cook this in another step, and it's totally fine. It it actually helps your cooking skills if you want to do that, but sometimes you just don't want to do that. And so they're like, they're prepackaged meals and they have like keto friendly meals. They have vegetarian friendly meals. They have high protein meals. They have a bunch of different meals for a bunch of different, different diets. So <clears throat> yeah. And like, that's the thing about raid. Like a lot of people actually liked it. Like there are so many people who are like, I'm still playing raid. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a totally fine game. Magic is pay to play, but it's not in, it's in the sense that like, if you have a constructed deck or you have multiple constructed decks already built, like you're not paying anymore, right? Like to play the actual game, you don't have to pay. I mean, but it's like, that's like any game really. Like you have to pay to get to a certain point. But once you do that, it's free. If that makes any sense. Maybe that's all pay to plays. I don't know. Is this, you think this is ever going to fire? I apologize for those of you guys on YouTube watching for four minutes before it fired. Okay. <coughs> Frodo Soren's Bane. The old... I guess we can... Can we make this bigger? Let's find out. 
Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's literally as big as we're going to get. So hopefully that's okay. Oath of the Grey Host. I don't even know if I've seen this. You and target opponent each create a food token. Each opponent loses three life. Create a treasure token. Create three 1-1 one, one white spirit tokens of flying. That actually seems pretty good. I'm surprised I have not seen this in the number of drafts we've done on Arena. <laughs> what? That's super weird. Um, There's a lot of good black-white cards in this pack, actually. If Frodo becomes a halfling, if, if if Frodo is a scout, it becomes a halfling rogue with whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, that player loses the game if the ring has tempted you four or more times. Otherwise, the ring tempts you. That's really kind of cool build around, to be honest with you. I'm going to pass it and hope it comes back. I'm going to take the oath. <clears throat> See, that's funny. I don't actually think Frodo is that great without black because at, at that point, it's just a 2-3 three for 3. Um, legendary creature. It's funny because these cards look a lot different than they do on Arena. They look much shinier on here, which is much more reflective of their actual like borders. Uh, I think it's either it's, it's either you cannot pass or Urukai Berserker. I like Urukai Berserker because the ring tempts you, and I did not value the ring tempting me as much as I should have in my like first or second draft. Like the first couple drafts, I just didn't value very highly. I do like a Golem's Bite. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I think it's definitely Golem's Bite here. What is Fall of Gilgalad? Scry 2, put two 1-1 one, one counters on a creature you control until the end of turn target creature you control gains. When this creature dies, draw two cards. Then that creature fights up to one other creature. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so Lash and Morgul Knife Wound. Two solid removal spells. When this attacks, if you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures, makes a 1-1 one, one soldier token. That guy's very good as well, especially for a 5-4 haste. I'm kind of hoping that the white comes back. Um, there were actually two good white cards in that pack, so it's very likely. So... That being the case, I'm probably just taking Morgul Knife Wound. This was played against me, and it was very, very good. Oh, another Oath of the Grey Host. That's interesting. This seems good, doesn't it? 3-1-1 Flyers? I don't know. I, like, I, I haven't even seen this card before, but now it's like I'm seeing two of them? I don't understand. What's the deal? Oh, I guess I can put my sideboard over here. I have my I have my little controls over here. That's not that's not what we need. What do we got? Ring sight. Uh, Schlom's ambush. Stalwart. We're not drawing two cards frequently. It's meant only to cast legendary spells. Oh, also the lands are in here. That's super cool. Look, Magic Online, you can just buy the lands or pick them up if you if you want to. On Arena, you literally just have to spend money and buy a set. I don't know. I, I, I like the way Magic Online works a lot better than Magic Arena. I think I'm just more of a like a, a magic purist where I like uh, the the trading aspects and being able to be like, oh, I don't have money for this, but I, you know, I don't want to spend money on this, but I do want to. I do have extra cards I can get rid of and trade you for these packs, and then I can use the packs to dra like I'll have like 15 packs in my MTG Arena account. And I just can't use them to draft, and it's like, what? That's what the literal purpose of packs like. Why are you giving these to me? <coughs> um, whenever Goblin or Orc you control deals combat damage to a player. That guy's good. This guy's also fine. I think the Gore Bag is probably better. I think having more Orcs and Goblins just in case. Four, five, six. This is packs. So we got two more picks. Uh, 
seven sorry for seven. this guy's just fine as a four five for five the ability is just a bonus mostly you know who i'm calling a gore bag buddy don't pretend like you're you're too good Uh, dude, there's like no white cards whatsoever. Um, I'm kind of convinced we might need to pivot into like red. So I'll take this red card, which I do like. Oh, look, none of those, none of those black, white, or white cards came back. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that actually last pack would have been it, right? Yeah, that would have been the, that's, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, we tried. I guess I'll take another Gorbag, even though he's legendary. Mm, boy. You know what? I'm going to take this cool swamp. Yeah, I'll put these guys in here because I feel like they're good. I don't really care about Orcish Medicine, but... Whatever. I mean, if it gave Death Touch, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. What is display of power? Oh, okay. it can be copied, and you can copy any number of instants and or sorcery spells. Wowie Kazowie. Gothmog Lieutenant is good, right? Especially if we're amassing things. Look at this, a third one. I've seen three of these in this one draft alone, and I've never seen it before. I've never seen this in MTG Arena drafts, or either I wasn't just paying, it just wasn't paying attention, but that seems like it was, that seems like a less likely scenario. I'm just going to take the Lieutenant. Ooh. Ooh, four, 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 four with haste. Whenever one or more other attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap. So this is, yeah, this is the, get another combat after this. Yeah, we're definitely taking that guy. And it's borderless. Look, you can just get borderless cards in packs. Wowie Kazowie. Hungry Howies. Like you do. Like you do. Oh man, a Boromir? Boromir is a banger. 3-3 three, three for 3 with Vigilance whenever an opponent casts a spell. If no mana was spent, counter it. Sacrifice Boromir, creatures you control get indestructible, the ring tempts you. Like, I mean, obviously not as good in limited, but that dude is a constructed death and taxes gentleman. I don't want a second Nasty End. I guess I don't have a Nasty End, huh? I guess Nasty End's probably fine, right? Draw some cards. I mean, what are our other options, right? If we're red. None. The answer is none. I really don't want more four drops. <coughs> what is this, dude? Four ten for seven. Whenever one or more tree folk you control attack, add twice that much green. You don't lose on spin green mana. I mean, that's just... I, I think it's so funny when seven mana cards are like, here's more mana. And you're like, but I have seven. I have so much. Uh, it's not the Black Breath. It's neither of these. Do I just take this and, like, maybe we're green instead? We only have three red cards, and they're not even super convincing. Whatever. I'll take the big fat idiot, because maybe he just... Maybe he does something. Maybe we find more tree folks. Stew the Stew the Conies is, uh, is removal. So is Ents Fury, I guess. <clears throat> so I guess there's two removals. I think, so Stew is interesting because it doesn't add any power, right? You have to use whatever power you have naturally. But you do get a food token. And it's an instant. And they're not fighting, you're just dealing your damage. This one is a fight. But it's a sorcery. And you don't get a food token. So it's, it's very funny how, in, how, how unique either of these are. I think we're just taking... Or 
Or we can just take Oliphant. Let's take Oliphant. We're not going to commit to this, this green boy. Improvised club is interesting. More like interesting club. I mean, I don't, again, I don't want more four drops. It's one of these two. Like, this is okay. I feel like there's a lot of, like, two threes and one threes and two fours, and it's, like, kind of awkward to, like, finagle a situation where, like, that really pops off for you. I'll just take the improvised club, because maybe we have... Oh, Legolas counter of kills in the showcase frame. I, I, I actually... Like, dude, I'm so, I don't even know how to, like properly convey how much more I appreciate Magic Online and how much it simulates a Magic experience. I feel like I'm opening a booster pack here. Like, there's a Legolas counter of kills in here. I can take it just because it's cool. Like, <clears throat> th these lands are in here. Like, it's so much more of a booster pack experience, whereas, like, Arena filters all the fun shit out and they just sell it to you directly. Like, it's so wild to me. <clears throat> I think we're just taking this flamesmith here. Oh my god, a third one of these? It came back? I'm just taking it. Maybe we're just going to overrun them with stupid idiot flyers. Yeah, that card seems terrible to me. I, I don't know if this card's any good, but it seems terrible to me. I'll take the generous Ent. What does no foils or duplicates mean? I know, like they're, I know there's no foils, but like, if I want a borderless card, I also just can't just buy it. Like I, I in in paper, like I only order borderless showcase or, um, extended art now. Like so, all my stuff is always the cosmetic enhanced version. I'm just, wow, double ends Fury at the very, very end. I mean, like, we have another pack, so. It's like, it's like, like, Boromir in the showcase frame and, like, flowering in the extended art frame. You can't see that. There's maybe hard to see. But, like, the point is, like, I like just being able to either buy those straight out if, like, if I want those cards instead of having to pay, like, 3,700 gems for one single frame or whatever the ridiculous rate is on MTG Arena. Like, it's, it's just very cost prohibitive and it's not very friendly to having cosmetic changes in your deck. And there definitely is duplicates in Arena. I have 20 copies of Duress, just in case you weren't. <laughs> I mean, unless you were being... I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but yeah, there's definitely duplicates. <clears throat> Let me tell you how many negates I have. Oh, you have my coasters reprinted? Cool, I'll get another four copies. Great. Uh, amass one, amass two, and then the plus one, plus one. Menace, sure. No duplicates in the same pack. Um... Yeah, but, like, I mean, like, what you mean, like, if you get, like, a foil copy and a regular copy? Because, like, that's that just emulates real life, and I don't think that's a... I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, I feel like our deck is not coming together here, and I... I guess I'll just take this. It makes it... It's a 3-3 three, three for 3, essentially, and it just gives you... Ooh, a Mines of Moria. That's kind of cool. Makes two treasures. Remember that time you crafted extra Phyrexian Obliterators because Arena didn't show you the copies you had? Yep. Yep, I remember that. That was fantastic. I searched for Phyrexian Obliterator. Um, it showed me none. So I was like, oh, I guess I don't have this. But I think the reason was because... What was the reason? Like, <clears throat> the versions I had were not legal in Standard or... Yeah, like, like they were in... Uh, they were the her historic anthology versions and like I guess it didn't recognize those as obliterators so then I crafted four and then I was like wait why do I have eight now <laughs> I was just like what the fuck dude come on this actually bats actually seems good 
it's another four drop, but I mean, you can't get two mythic rares from the same. Yeah, no, I get what you're. I get what you're saying. Um, I'm not sure if you're looking at that as a good thing or a bad thing, though. I think that's. I don't think that's good because I feel like that's not how magic works. Like magic, you're opening a pack and there could be two of the same mythic in a, in a single pack. Like you could have a foil version and a regular version or a showcase version and a regular version. Like that's just how packs work, you know? Like, so it's kind of cool. If, like it's like opening a foil Tarmogoyf and a regular Tarmogoyf. Like historically throughout magic, that's always been a really cool feature. Like to be able to open the same rare or mythic in the same pack, you know? Another Org High Berserker. Get out of here. You don't need to be in here. Tricksy Hobbitsy. I mean, the ring is definitely getting some temptation here. I do like Rally at, at the Hornburg, too. Mortal Knife Wound. Two Gore Bags. Probably not playing this. I think we're just taking the Rally. I think it's it's better for our little token strategy that we've got going here. It works better with uh, things like Nasty End. Eh, Urkin Brain is not bad. Especially if we're, if we're summoning a bunch of humans. Look, here's a foil Shadow Fax. Show me the Shadow Fax. Also, Mordor Trebuchet. That actually seems like it's great for us. Let's take that instead of... <coughs> Urkin Brand. My Urkin Brand. My brand. Sammy, I'm accepting your your 20 bucks that you sent me, and I really appreciate it, my dude. We'll put it towards some draftity, draftity drafts. Always love you, buddy. Really appreciate your support. Uh, plus one, plus one, and has haste. The baby each combat, untap it. Equipped creature. Why don't you just give it vigilance? Equipped creature just first strike as long as it's blocking or block. It's actually. Why is the equip cost two? This feels like an equip one, especially for a rare, but you know what? I'll take it. It makes my guys a little bigger. Uh, none of these are that great. Don't we already have a riding of the day? Rising of the day. Why only legendary creatures? Make all my creatures plus one, plus oh. You know? No, I think equipment's good in draft, <clears throat> especially if, if the equipment's good. Anything that gives a bonus over plus one, like if it's usually giving plus one, you want it to cost one to equip. If it's giving a bonus anything over that, two is usually good. And then if it's broken, like three to four is sometimes fine. These packs are really rough. Oh no, I moved it. See, now I'm going to use my fancy zones, get it right back in the exact spot. Oh, the Mines of Moria came back. And another Mirkwood Bats. Hmm. We have a pretty decent token theme going on here. This is exactly 23. We're going to have to evaluate our, our sideboard. Look at all these beautiful lands I have. Well, I guess just this one. <laughs> That's good. <coughs> good times. Great oldies. And a sad little island. All right, so 
you're good. Both of you are good. You're fine. You, 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 you. All those are good. Quarrel's end is fine. That's good. That's good. I'd like to cut one of these, these or these gore bags just because they're legendary. Actually, this looks pretty decent. 14 creatures plus a couple of... Huh. Could see cast into the fire instead of one gore bag. Could also see sting the glinting dagger. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so... Man, they didn't even give you the good lands for... Let's go 9... Let's go 9-8. Just a classic 9-8. And... All right, let's go for it. Also, I changed my Michael Scott I'm Dead Inside to an actual green screen meme. It's not working, though, so that's sad. Oh, I have to like Carol Me. I am dead inside. There you go. Uh, keep, I think? Yeah, this is a definitely a keeper. We got a... Got a good old-fashioned mountain cycler if we really need it. But we have a two-drop, three-drop, three-drop. Sure. Uh, nothing. Can you read the saga for me? I don't think so. The saga is each player makes a food token, I believe. Then the next one is each opponent loses three life... Uh, you make a treasure token. And then the final is you make three 1-1 one, one flyers. Oh, here we go. So you and each opponent make a food token. Each opponent uh, loses three life. Then you make a treasure. And then you make three 1-1 one, one white spirits with flying. I don't know. It seems pretty good. It's a lot of effects. Kids, I'd like to tell you about the oath... Of the Grey Host. It's a very scary tale. Yeah, I don't know if it... I don't know. Like, I've seen three of them in this draft. None of them in any other draft I've ever done. And no one seemed to be interested in it, so... We'll see. I'm probably going to block this guy. Yeah, this is fine. Bear those rings. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, like I just scry when he comes in play. Sure. <coughs> Yeah, give that guy plus one, plus zero. Am I just blocking this guy too? No, I'm not doing anything, I guess. Oh, Mount Montana. <coughs> yeah, let's make a. Let's get this going ASAP. ASAP, Rocky. Get in my pocket. Uh, yeah, okay. Sunny D, it will burn your throat. Uh, I guess we're just passing here. Look, we each got a food token. You're so 
lucky that I gave that to you. I kind of want to attack here, but then they attack for th four. They take three. We take four next turn. However, if we don't attack, we're not blocking this guy. So I guess we take two. I don't know if that's better. Oh yeah, gain your little life. Getting a treasure is nice. We can play Oliphant next turn. Oh, cool. Uh, seems good. Congratulations. I only have two cards. We have five next turn plus this on board. Seems like we're doing better in terms of the card quantity. Yeah, take four anyway. Fascinating. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so we got one land. What do we got? Six mana, huh? <clears throat> Next turn we make a bunch of one ones tapped. I think we're just casting this guy here. Hopefully they don't kill him, you know? I mean, if we could cast this guy and also cast the Sting and equip it, I would have done that instead, because then we'd have a way to block this guy. Like, we just make a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2, two, two, put the equipment on, it's a 3-3, three, three, and then we can just block this guy. But <clears throat> we did not have that. This guy's also not the ring bearer, so I'm definitely just going to block. Oh, you didn't do anything. <clears throat> That's interesting. Six mana and you drew a bunch of cards, but you did not do anything here. I am fascinated. Give a little human a little buffy buff. When is this? Whenever it attacks? Yeah, sure. <coughs> My throat's all scratchy. I apologize. Just take nine. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Boy, it's funny how dark my face looks, even despite like having a huge light here, because this camera is just like blocking so much of the light. Yeah, sure, you got it. You got word of one spirit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like we're in good shape here. I think they might not be doing well. Ring temps you here? Yeah. That's your... Huh. Fascinating. Not what I would have done, but I would have preferred to have other options, I guess. Interesting. There's a lot of things happening here. Yes. Yes. Huh. 
Are they dead? They block the 2-2. Two, two. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So no. If we had a way to kill this guy... I think it's probably better to just get this guy out of the way and then just attack for a bunch. This costs four, six, so I have five. I'm one mana shy of casting, equipping, and actually casting this as well. <clears throat> so it almost feels better to use the Golem's Bite here and keep our Orc Army alive. Yeah, that seems fine. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody wang chong tonight. Yeah, they're just dead on board because of the imp improvised club. So, that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> and that's how you win the game. Take notes, boys and girls. Was this a cast into the fire matchup? Maybe. We saw a 2-1. We also saw their 1-1. One, one. I think we can bring in cast into the fire. This guy, what is this guy? Human soldier, huh? We'll probably take out one bat. That's a little slow. So we got a one drop, but that's pretty much it. We're gonna mulligan this hand. Yeah, we'll keep this. We can ship a swamp. Cast him as a man into the fire. <laughs> that's funny. That's like that's that's comedy gold right there. There are a lot of amassing here. There's a lot of amassing going on. Hmm. Cast in the fire. No? Okay. No two drop, huh? I understand. <clears throat> we could have also sacrificed our treasure. No, our, our food token in order to use this. It's the same exact start. Amazing. Got a deck full of... Erebor Flamesmiths and Haradim, Haradrim Spearmasters. That guy's big. We're going to play the bird here because it gives us a 1-1 one, one in order to block the 2-1. See if that makes a difference. Also, if you guys haven't done so, definitely check out. Uh, I've I've been posting some unboxing mail day videos on YouTube, which I've I thought were really enjoyable. So if you guys won't get the chance, definitely check them out. Also, go to YouTube, give me a follow or subscribe as well. Definitely helps out. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, and I haven't been able to do so for like seven years. I feel like I've been stagnant at the amount of subscribers I've had for like six years, and I don't understand it, and it actively frustrates me. <clears throat> Just to be clear. Um. Hmm. See, I'm, I'm actually torn because the book of M Mazarbul, um, I don't necessarily want to make this a 3-3 three, three because then he's just susceptible to removal, but I also <sighs> don't hate it. I don't know. Actually, don't I don't think it's this. It's not this. So it's not. It's it's either it's either Berserker or Book. Yeah, I'll ask Mr. Beast. I'll message him after this after this match. Let's just play this and see if if our guy survives. If they if they kill it, then it's like whatever. I still got a one one. But if they don't kill it, then I get a three three and they kill that. So that's the same, right?
if we got to land next turn, playing Rally and Urukai Berserker into the third chapter of Book of Mar Mazerbul is pretty good. No, nothing, huh? Okay, not a land, unfortunately. Ugh. Rascally, wascally wabbits. I think we're just playing this because it lets us keep up improvised clubs. So if they try to, like, do some shenanigans and kill our orc, orc tokens, like, I, I still get to just sacrifice it for value and kill something. <clears throat> so, I'm sure they're going to do something. Oh, they didn't do anything. I was like, I'm sure they're going to do something. But nothing was done. Claim the precious. Say this, this is what I'm talking about here. Uh, choose any target. This guy. Get rid of your boy. <laughs> Sammy with the big tips. If you need a land, you can mountain cycle. I don't need a land that badly. You know what I mean? Like the only card I need a land for is the the card I would mountain cycle away. So it actually it's counterintuitive. Hey, look at that. Six, yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. I also hate missing land drops. But I think it's worse when you like miss your second and third land drop than your fifth land drop. Let's play this beautiful beast. I don't even know what this thing is. <laughs> oh, it's like a... I see it. I see its face. It's very hard to make out. It's like, here's a tusk and here's a tusk. It's like so dirty and convoluted that I can't even I can't even make it out, you know. I don't think I have an orc and or a goblin right now. I have a bird horror and a beast. And if I had one more land, I could play both, but but I wouldn't be attacking with them both, you know, so Might as well make this guy Ring Baron. You're a Ring Baron, Harry. Did you say Ring Baron? Yeah, sure. When I was in like sixth grade, my friend and I would play land matches of Age of Empires 2 and pronounce Trebuchet as Tree Bucket. That makes sense. That checks out as a thing kids would do. Thank you. They're going to sack this guy to draw some cards for sure. Static Suicide. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. They're not going to do that. Maybe they're going to do something else. They are going to kill my 5-4, and I'm going to make a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Understood. That is a 2 for none, technically, because I got a 2-2 two -two out of it. But, you know. And we win the game. I'm going to say good games, because he said good game first. So... Literally didn't hear Trebuchet actually pronounced out loud until like high school, I think. It was like, dang, checks out. Wait, English isn't the only language? So Katie, her stomach has been upset. So she's had she just had cereal for dinner tonight. And Michael just ate leftovers. So I really need to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. What's little Frankie going to have for dinner? That's the question. I had some leftover chicken parm for lunch. That was around noon. So probably not Italian. Tree buckets in this economy? Leftover cereal? Isn't all cereal leftover? <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. 
<laughs> Unless you actually mean leftover cereal, like, in the bowl. Like, oh, shit, it's like, I left it sitting here, and that's disgusting. That's just, that's just milk slop. This is uh, an interesting hand. Leftover cereal is going to pour usual cereal and eat like half, and then you put the rest in the fridge to eat the next day. Disgusting. Oh, God. Eating milk slop should be a crime. I agree with you. I am also a milk slop uh, hater, I guess. Like a, like a Bill Hader. God, I love Bill Hader. Bill Hader is easily one of my favorite celebrities. You got it, Frodo. I don't even want to play this now because they're just gonna, they're just gonna block them, and then they have to block, you know. So it's like, what's the point? What's even, what's the point, you know? I'll play my little sword. <clears throat> I, I just noticed your sub badges. That's clever. Dude, Chris, thank you for saying so, man. I felt good when I came up with it. I was like, oh, this could be good. Uh, it goes to 10th edition, and then I reset, right? Like, so it's, um... God, it's really confusing. So the silver badges are months and the gold badges are years. And then the number correlates with how long. <clears throat> so Sammy is a six year subscriber. So he has a gold sixth edition subscriber badge. Chris is a three year. So he has a revised because revised is known as third edition. If you're two years, you have unlimited because unlimited is known as second edition. And then we went with Alpha for, for one year or one month. Okay. Oh, he's got a block, though? Oh, this is terrible, man. As long as Frodo's ring bear must be blocked. God damn it. That's frustrating. Should I just play Trebuchet, maybe? Ugh, I don't know. Um, I think there's a handful of 10 years, yeah. Is the 4th edition symbol tilting because there is no 4th edition symbol? Because to be fair, there's no alpha, beta, unlimited, or revised symbols either. Yeah, they're doing very well. I'm doing poorly. Yep, gotta block this guy. What does this do? Plus three, plus three, sure. So now when I kill it, it'll be all the more satisfying. The best thing would be to do it in reverse order, so you can only have ABU symbols until you're... Yeah, that actually... That does make sense. <laughs> oh, God. So we're probably going to cycle Oliphant here. Fourth land would have been nice. Then we can play Rally and Improvise Club on this. I guess we can't kill her now, can we? I was I was thinking we could do this, but like I forgot she's getting plus three, plus three. So that does make it more obnoxious, doesn't it? <clears throat> Fascinating. Does it matter? Not really.
Dude, I remember buying Ice Age packs too. I remember buying Ice Age starter decks. I remember exactly how they looked. Oh man, what memories, dude. That was only 400 years ago. I was there. CDs with parental advisory labels and Hastings. <laughs> oh, that's a quality. <clears throat> also worth noting that Hastings can attack the turn it comes into play, so keep that in mind. Everybody have fun tonight. I started buying my packs at the Watsy store in 98 and never got to buy Ice Age packs as a little baby Chris. Yeah, they had the gold, pl yeah, the, they had the plastic wrapper that came on it and it had like a gold lining around it. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support, my dude. Always appreciate you. Chris is like, I've lived in Seattle for my entire life. I'm just a I'm just a small town Seattle kid. It's just a five seven. Yeah, I'm just taking five here. I'm not in a position to be blocking. Come on. They have two cards. They're not really doing much. They are filtering a lot of things, though. Everybody have fun tonight. One one and haste. It's just trebuchet here. Do you just keep up improvised club to shoot them with their own? Yeah, that seems good, right? Good old ballistic boulder. Quality. I was born wearing flannel and drinking double shot espressos. Sounds about right, yeah. I don't even know if Chris drinks coffee. I've never seen Chris drink coffee in his whole life. No blocks. No blocks whatsoever. Sure. I get really annoying when I drink coffee and my stomach hates me. Valid reasons. I'm more of a tea man. <laughs> what? Oh, they call me old Christopher Teeman. They're going to do something busted here. No one's going to, no one's going to have any fun. Okay. That's not that busted. That guy's just scrying. Oh, what up monk HB? Old Hat Mike himself. I love that Chris and, and my friend Nick, otherwise known as Hat Mike, know each other in real life now. That's so satisfying. Two of my favorite people. I 
I think, man, this is a this is a tough scry. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I agree. Oh, you guys got matching tattoos without me? Dang. Can you tell me what they are? Or is it a secret? Rye chips and voodoo seasoned pretzels. Hmm. Mine says Frank and Monk says Suggs. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. This five seven's doing doing some good work here. Five sevens are known for the amount of work they do. That's smart. I had not considered that. Interesting. Whenever one or more other attacking creatures die. So we can break through, right? Like we can deal them four with this. Like so, so they're at virtual seven. They can easily block here, block here. So they take what two? So they're five. I don't think that's good enough. I guess we actually could just attack with this. God, I wish we had one more mana. We could actually attack with this guy. If they block, we could kill it with the with the little B. But this is what I do like about Magic Online, is that my timer is my timer, and I have three more minutes on the clock, so I can pretty much sit here and try to figure out the best course of action. It might just be play Sirith Ungol Patrol. I'm going to attack with one or more goblins or orcs. I don't really want to attack with any of them, to be quite honest. But what I could do is attack with one, attack here. Wait, she can't block here, can she? Oh, see, that's good. That's good to see. Ring Baron in the USA. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Does it get sacrificed at the end of combat? Oh man, it was a, if it was at the end of the turn, I'd be so much, so much more thrilled about it, you know. Hmm. Is it worth attacking for four more? No, because then we probably die? I guess we could just block here. They, she blocks here, but they take four, they go to five. And then we have Improvised Club for next turn, but if they have any removal for, for Trebuchet. Hmm. So let's just say they're a virtual five. This can take them three. I think we're just passing here. That makes sense. Or they take four. They have one card in hand. We have to, oh, uh, we actually have to block Frodo, so I don't think we can attack. Well, let's just pass here. This is tricky. 
Magic is tricky. Oh, you're just going to kill my guy. Sounds good. Who hasn't been there? That might actually put us outside of the realm of victory. Because we have to block here, so... Um... Yeah, I'm just going to block with the 2-2, two -two, I guess. Ideally, we draw a land and a cheap orc that costs like 2 mana. So, that would be perfect. A real knife wound. Dude, this 5 sevens actually been really problematic. Shockingly so. Now oh, she's a 2 7, though. That's a little more manageable. Go to 7. Yes, excellent. Every little bit helps when you're improvising a club, you know? Oh, dear. I mean, that's going to cost. What is it? One, I guess I guess that's a human, right? Yeah, so two. That's pretty good. I mean I guess we could just block with a with a human soldier now. I mean, honestly it's like turn eight and we've missed three land drops. I mean having having the lands to play multiple things or equip something each turn. Playing this guy and then being able to equip it the next turn would have change this game significantly, but Urukai Berserker would be amazing because then we can make this our ring bearer attack with it. Oh, I guess they can just sack it to get rid of Mortal Knife Wound. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a great well, that's a great draw last card you drew. That's five damage. Ugh god, that's so frustrating. <sighs> if we had an orc or another thing. Well, they have no cards and we're not dead yet. So we can play this guy, easily block here and here. Then next turn this triggers, right? So, like, if this was a ring bearer, we could take them to six. Play this guy for two. Play this for five. And this... Or not, not a ring bearer, but rather if this was an orc. That would take them to five, and this would be the five we need. Well, <clears throat> we could still have this. <laughs> it's just not looking fantastic. The bright, the bright, the bright part is that even if they put the blade on Frodo, we can still block it with the trebuchet. So, <laughs> pop up kitchen, improvised club. <laughs> Oh, good times. <laughs> yep, okay. That's what we assumed you might do. I mean, our, our blocking pattern is going to be the same.
interesting. Hmm. I mean, I have to assume they drew something that gives them trample, right? <laughs> so they can just kill us very easily. Yep, now they're paying costs. Sure. On Frodo? To kill the trebuchet? This is very interesting. Sure. The four six. Well, that was the exact thing they needed to get rid of the trebuchet, so that's unfortunate. And now it's going to be the land that we've been waiting for for fourteen turns. And of course, this is a plus one plus one, so it actually does not give us the the oomph we need here. But if we can attack with this guy as well, that does it. Yeah, that's probably going to be the end, right? Okay. Let's win the game. Okay, so they're taking four. That's the old Gotti. That was satisfying. That was a, a satisfying victory that I did not feel like we were in uh, the best position to win. And then we won. I mean, I would bring Cast into the Fire in if we had... Um, if they had... more artifacts instead of enchantments. Like if that plus three plus three card was like an equipment, I'd definitely bring it in. Um, we also didn't see many one toughness creatures, so I think we're just probably gonna ship like this and see what happens. Uh, yeah, this seems great. Two drop into into trebuchet, which triggers off the two drop. Yeah. Death Touch Spider. And just choose the one a permanent card in a graver that was put there for the better return it to your hand, then the ring tempts you. Sure, you got you got a little temptation. Making the spider your ring bearer is kind of weird because nothing can block it. I guess nothing's going to block it anyway. It's still fine. You can still block. That makes sense. Trebuchet into Gothmog is pretty decent. Methinks. What is this? What is this? I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's good. 
getting getting two ring bearers, two two temptations by the second turn is is pretty decent. Yep. Good looting going on here. That's just good looting, you know. Nobody knows. I feel like I just trebuchet here, right? I don't think it's Urukai. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, let's just trebuchet. Just say sacrifice at the end of combat. That's so good. I love it. I mean, if we're just trading for Frodo, that's fine. Or Samwise. Samwise, Frodo, they're all just they're all the same. They're all just hobbits, you know? Oh, they didn't they didn't want to trade. Um draw a card, credit treasure. I will do neither. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Thank you. I know. Mike the mailman, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Welcome back. Always a pleasure. Thank you for saying so, man. Really appreciate that. My YouTube channel is infuriating. Like, it really drives me nuts because I I feel like I, I've been putting more time into it. And it's just been so stagnant for so long. And I don't understand it, you know? Wow, did they just use Banish on the 2-2? Two -two? That's wild to me. I mean, it looks like they're missing land drop, but... They're absolutely not all the same. You take that back. Uh, no blocks. Trebuchet has always been surprisingly good. Why is this Backstreet Boys song stuck? Is this NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? Got a little sword for you? Thank you. Tom Bombman, I really appreciate you clarifying for me. Psych, that was a trick. I was trying to get the real NSYNC slash Backstreet Boys fans to reveal themselves. Now you've done it. I want it that way as a certified banger, I guess. That's true. Neither of these are humans, so you're going to have to pay three to equip. Is that what you want to do? No, I guess not. Boy, this... I think we're just trading with this... With this orc army token, maybe? It's just a 1-1 one, one for now. I don't want to get this spider out of the way because it could just get worse. They didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. So I could just attack here and you're not gonna you can't do anything. I like the mana usage of this better, but sure, <laughs> you got it. Uh, do I just play? Do I just cycle this? Play a land? What are you doing? Looking at your little foot? I don't actually know what to do here. I'm I'm like torn on whether I cycle this or not. I don't think I do. I think it's just a great 
card for the later game. Like, I just don't need the land. Like, I have one card that costs more, and I have three cards that cost less, and this is going to draw me two cards anyway, so I'd just rather have this as a late-game threat. Because then if we draw a land next turn, we can easily play this, and we're not going to have this if we cycled. That's a good dude. That's a good bird. Frank do want it that way. Look, here's a land. That's not a land. That's a rally at the Hornburg. Hmm. What can we do here? What can be done? I think we're going to Quarrel's End here. Now we have to sacrifice. We have to discard a card. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll rally at the Hornburg. What are we discarding? Probably bats. Yeah, bats are fine. What if there's no land here? Fucking amazing. I really asked for it, I guess. Now I now I just want the land because I want to be able to play two things next turn. So. Oh well. You win some. You don't draw land some. Hornburg, that's where I grew up. No, you liar. We've already established you've grown up in Washington. Chris, you ever think you're leaving Washington? Or are you just going to live there forever? Local man never leaves his hometown. Goes to the Olive Garden every week. To be fair, it's one of the better hometowns you could grow up in, I guess. It's not like... Kansas. Is that a bad? I don't know. I don't want to discriminate against any states, but we all know there's certain states that are a little less culturally evolved than other states. We all know. Let's not pretend we don't. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Don't lie. Oh, okay. Your home state. Your home state. Okay. I think I kill my trebuchet, you think? No, they didn't care. They didn't care enough. You know what I would love? I would absolutely love if we could draw Cast Under the Fire, which is in our sideboard. Can we do that? We're at twelve. What's the what's the best way to get get a get an orc token here that can attack, you think? We make a food. We make a treasure. These are these could be good, but it's going to take like four turns, right? This turn, next turn we go to two, next turn we go to three, and then they finally gets on tap. So it's like a, it's quite an investment if you're a little bit behind, you know? I guess we're just going to play War Beast of Gorgoroth. Gor 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 what? Play the black. The black's in there. They're just getting there with this guy. Sure, they're they're at a lower life total. Why not? Two beasts and a way to sack is infinite. That's true because they make four. They make a two two and then you amass again. And it makes a four four and then you sack it and then it makes a two two and a four four and then it makes a two two and a four four and then I think after that it makes a two two and a four four. So, this is how you're going to be, huh? You're just going to attack with these stupid birds until until I die? Removal spell. That's not it. Can we win this turn? Hmm. It's a valid question. Well, we can make a food token and eat it. It's delicious. 
Hmm. I wonder if that's any good. <sighs> Humans get haste. I don't think we have it in us to win this turn. We could not die, maybe. I guess let's see what what our beautiful attacks bring us. Beautiful attacks. <sighs> it's obnoxious. I'm just going to go to the next game here. That's not fun at all. Cast into the fire actually seems pretty good here. What if they whiff? Wouldn't that be wild? They're not whiffing. There's no way. Only I would whiff on this card. My coworker had two trees and Isengards and went forever with them in a game at the draft. Took him to the finals, then he lost. I guess it's treason then. Oh, that was good. That was a great draw. Look at these little guys doing their doing their doing the Lord's work. Execute them. Actually, that's from Bill and Ted. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent! Well, do they have any... You think they got any haste creatures? Or uh, flash creatures? Big Papa Frankina don't. Look at this, I got... I got gentlemen for days. How's it gonna be? You got it. Ooh, there's a Power Toys update. I was just talking about them. They're going from version 6.9.1 to 7.1.0. Beautiful. Power Toys is probably one of my favorite Windows apps that I've discovered. Interesting. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you're responding to me or not. <laughs> uh, I kind of just want to put this on your guy and then keep up Nasty End, I guess. Nick, why is that crazy? What's oh, You can't tell if you're being serious now. So the first question I have to establish is whether you're referring to me. Then the next question I have to establish is whether you're serious. And this is this is how we go. We go down the line, you know. We have nine minutes. They have four minutes. They're taking way longer than they should be. I think we might just sacrifice one of these human tokens, deal them a point, and draw two here. Actually, fuck, I want the bats in play. I want to maximize that. That life loss, you know. Yeah, we got a thing to play. I'm fine with with waiting. Hmm, fascinating. Let's get a bat out. Um, I don't think we're attacking here. We can just wait. Just wait. What does this do? Search for a sure. That's fine. I feel like you're a little behind right now. 
Like next turn they take one, two, three, four. I guess we can even not attack with this guy. They'll take one, two, three, sack a guy. So they take one from this and one from this. They take five? I don't know. I don't know, math man. This is all very difficult to, to figure out. But now we're just playing Oliphant. I'm not being serious. Just being a dumbass. Okay. And then the third question you have to ask. Have you ever had a dream that you... um? Have you ever had a dream that... That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you yeah. so much you could do anything. Yeah, I hear you. Anything you can do anything. Chris Furter, you think this uh you think this one ring is ever gonna come down from like 70 bucks? Oh, what up, Shoe Garner? You've seen the updated video where he's an adult? No. Please, please send that to me. And yeah, I I also. So wait, you got you got two of these, huh? But you didn't play either one of them. Boy, that's not suspicious at all. Are you going to give this guy plus three plus three? I assume you will, and then you'll, your guy will survive. Mm, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Didn't you draw this? Couldn't you have just played that and then double blocked? Taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't understand. All right, well, I guess it's not my job to understand. The one ring is going to be in the special. What special packs? Aren't all the packs out? There are more packs that are going to be opened? I don't even understand. Magic is a confusing game, man. Not the game itself. I think the game of Magic is actually less confusing than how you find cards. If someone was like, explain to me the game of magic and how to play it. And then another person was like, explain to me how I can open a foil borderless one ring. I would be like, I'll do the first one. I'll explain the first one to you. Oh my God, look how old that kid is. He's got facial hair. Oh my God. This is amazing. Chris, I'm definitely watching this after. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. If we can draw a mountain between now and turn four, it'd be amazing. We're playing Habs 1. Habs 11. Hobbs 11? Who knows? Who can say, you know? I was talking to my boss the other day about the complexity of magic sets. Yeah, dude, I would much rather, like, learning new abilities and new, and how to play magic the game is significantly easier than figuring out how to get a specific card that you want. Okay, we did not draw... But we did draw a three drop and we still have Oath of the Grey Host next turn, which is pretty good. Making that treasure token. I think we're just going to play Oath here because it's actually a pretty good spot for it. This guy got reach? No, no reaches for you? Get in there for one, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, it's worse with this set. Personally, a fan of extended art foils, and only some rares get the treatment, and they were exclusive to the collector. Sample pack. Yeah, right. That's why the, the foil extended art one ring is like a thousand bucks or four hundred bucks or whatever ridiculous price tag it commands because um well let's see what this rare does you may look at the top card anytime you may cast creatures from the top and then they add mana sure that's fine that seems very good but i'll try to ignore it and pretend it's it's not as good as as it is One, two, three. Actually, might as well attack, right? Their creature's just worse than ours, and like if they block, they block, and if they don't, then they're taking more damage. Sacrifice? No. No. I think I hurt my neck. I probably got out of bed the wrong way. Because, you know, when you get old, you're like, oh, fuck, I moved a different way. So now my neck is broken. So that's cool. Oh, we just win the game. All right, well. Well. We're, we're doing the old 2-0 two, two right now. So let's see if we can get that sweet hat trick of victories. This hand seems great. We got a two drop, a three drop, and a four drop if we get a second red, which we should be able to do. We got that eight red count in the deck. Oh, I love that I played that first. That's so stupid. I'm not smart. God damn it. A little stuff like that, I'm just like, what a stupid error. You have a golem's bite in hand, and you're just not going to play it. Or, you know, keep it up even. That's okay, we didn't need to. I think we're playing Rally at the Hornburg instead. Light played for 750 is the cheapest listing. Oh boy, good times. Yeah, this is why I don't care about foils. You can keep your foils. My cards are straight. What is this? Peregrine Took. Look at that beautiful showcase frame. That guy's good. I like that guy. Alright, so three drops. We can either make a 2-2 two, two or a 3-2. I think we're going with the 3-2 here. Non-foil still, Pringle? I don't... I, that's not been my experience. Like, this is a whole stack of non-foils. Like, they're... Completely straight. What did they do? Oh, they just played the Elven Chorus again. Well, we didn't draw the the land we wanted here, unfortunately. Oh, we're, we're going to play the bird here. Make a 2-2. Two, two. I guess we don't have to play it right now, right? We can just attack first. What does this cost to exile? Two? Four? Hmm, that's worse. Hmm, I see. I don't sprinkle sour cream and onion flavoring on my cards to keep them from sprinkling. That's smart. That's a good idea. Interesting. I was definitely expecting these to trade. No, not not you. You. All right. You store your cards in cardboard tubes. Fascinating strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That is a bold strategy, Christopher. Let's see if it pays off for you. 
They probably will. I think this I think we're doing well here. Like they're playing one drops. They have three cards in hand, so if they stay at three. Okay, that guy came off from the hand. I'm not sure if, if I know what this guy does. So he's a 1-1 one, one for 3. You ask 2. When you do, gain control of a non-legendary creature and opponent controls. Is it less than or equal to? Yeah, sure, that's fine. I'll just take 2. Okay, so it's just it's the same as my bird, except this guy flies and this guy threatens. Smart. Um, well, that's interesting. I guess I don't have any other legendary creatures, but they're going to have to, like, do some shenanigans here, right? I mean, I guess they could just block with this guy, but... Nevertheless, like, they're going to have to do that anyway. Maybe we can just attack here without... Everything trades with everything else. Is anything going to make a token at any point? No, not really. So we can just alpha here, play our bats. Actually, I forgot the ring bearer was legendary. Dang it. Did you have anything delicious for dinner? Wash it down with the best soda, Mountain Dew Spark. I did not. I have not had any dinner yet. You got it. Get tempted on. So our ring bearer was killed. Killed in action. I'm still not going to play a... One, two. Sure. Okay. I only have one card in hand and two one ones, so... That seems okay. What is this? Are you serious? <laughs> whenever one casts a spell, mass one. Whenever an army deals combat damage to a player of the ring, whenever an army you control, whenever the ring tempts you, you may discard your hand if you that's really that's really good. Congratulations. That seems unbeatable. Oh, dear Jesus. Come on, dude. Sacrifice a legendary artifact or a legendary creature. Wonderful. This is a seven, eight, nine. I mean, interestingly, we can make this the ring bearer. That doesn't do much though. This is, oh my God, now you just get to a mass. Oh my God, this is so stupid. And the only reason you have blue is because you drew your <laughs> fucking rare enchantment. Come on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, seems good. Does Castle of the Fire say anything about destroying Sauron? No. No, it does not, unfortunately. Well, I guess we're getting in there for one. Does Sauron have reach? Oh, okay, good. Discarding your hand and drawing four is utterly insane and limited. Is Hunter still in here? No, I don't know where Hunter is.
So 2-2, two, two, huh? I think we just block here. I really don't want them to connect and then uh, the ring will tempt them and then they also get to discard their hand. Like, yeah, that seems good. Oh, Old Man Willow. Power and toughness are your children of the lands you control. 6-6. Six, six. Seems good. That's also extremely good. Wow. Is there any way to win this game? You're... What? What? Wow. Wow. That's not going to do it. 3, 2, 6, 6, 2, 3, 2, 2. Okay, well. So 6, 2, and 3. The only creature that would get by is a 1, 1. Yep, that. Boy, this game was going really, really well up until they got to cast this off of their rare. They, they got to cast their mythic off of their rare. Because, <laughs> like, oh boy. Good times. Hmm. What does this guy say? Whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice another creature or token. That's really good. I have any I don't know if I've seen that either. Jeez. This is ridiculous. They have three blockers. They block 4-4 four, four with 6-6. Six, 2-1 six, two, and 2-2. Two, two, and they take 1-2. That doesn't do anything. And then we die. Yep, I'm just going to go to the next game here. Plus, oh yeah, if I cast anything, they're going to be able to amass. So that's cool. Cast of the Fire definitely coming in. They have a bunch of X1s. Take a bat out again. Wow, that's hilariously frustrating. I will play first. Man, last game felt like it was going well. Do you see that Ben B is selling 1,000 third edition Kurt Apes for for $100? $100 for all of them? That actually seems pretty good, doesn't it? Is that bad? I don't even know what a Kurt Abe goes for. It's a Kurt Abe. How much can it cost? A dollar? Okay, so we know they have that. Yeah, that's what I figured. A quarter sounds right. Being able to get Oath of the Grey Host out uh, quickly without them having a lot of pressure out is really what you want. It's what you want, you know? It's what you're looking for. They don't have anything. Okay, this is interesting. I guess their first play is going to be like Sauron. <laughs> Watch, they're going to kill this guy. No, uh, no doubt. There you go, I'll give you another food. Enjoy your tasty treat. Also, if you guys are looking for a way to support the channel or the content, be sure to check out Factor. They're the sponsor for the stream for the next month. It's a great meal delivery service, similar to HelloFresh, except the meals are pre-made, so you don't have to do a ton of cooking and cleaning afterwards. You just pop them in the microwave they're all super fresh ingredients you get 50 percent off your first box with the promo code down in the description below or on the screen 
So definitely check them out. I got a sweet kickback, and it's it's a great way to support the channel if you guys are looking to do so. We're definitely just attacking and oh I guess I guess he can't block anyway, so that's fine. I was like, I guess I can just block, and I'm like, oh, you can't block, because, you know, reasons. Also, our opponent is 2-0, so I should have known. What are you going to kill? You're going to kill our Orakai Berserker? That's a bummer. Nothing I can really do here. So I guess he dies. If he dies, he dies. And they have six cards, so we're going to block with our Death Touch guy, then they're going to kill this guy in response, because there's no way they're trading their 5-5 five, five for our 1-1. One, one. But... Yep, here you go. Sure. Really good at this game. <laughs> oh, boy. Whenever one or more halflings you control, attack a player, create a food token. Sure. One of the main problems we have is that we don't have any, like, just solid removal. Um, we don't have ways to get rid of five fives or six sixes. Like it's just like, oh, negative two, negative two, or deal four damage. Hmm, that guy's good. Three run runs and an Oliphant in the same turn is pretty decent, but we'll see if it matters. I mean, they're 14, we're at 20. That's not terrible. <sighs> right? It's not terrible, guys, right? Guys? Right? Boy, they're really taking their time here. I guess they just have so many good plays, you know. Yep, steal my spirit token. You got it. Was it six six? Then they can oh they can sack my token to kill another token. Wow, that's really good. The exact answer you needed. I also wish this guy was a 5-5, five because five, then I can block and still Golem's Bite. I mean, actually, maybe I should have killed the Amass token before, and then they couldn't have taken any of our tokens, but I don't know. 
hard to say what's correct, you know? See, and this is why you, this is why you do a little waiting. So now, they just take 900 damage. One, two, three, four, play a little bat. Also, sacking food token and treasure token gives us two more damage to them. Ignore the angry tree. Solid advice from Chris Verter. Did we win? We're working on it. We're 2-0 right now. We're down a game, though. Katie's like, I'm eating Ritz. <laughs> uh, oh, good. A six drop. Two creatures get plus two, plus two, and trample. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. That's really cool. That was like the exact thing you needed. Now you can block my big guy. And attack me for twelve. Everybody wins. It's up for me. So I can deal one, two, three, four, five. I'm two damage shy. No, I'm not. I'm actually, I think we still win. Oh no, they're just gonna kill our spirit token. Interesting, okay, well. We're one damage shy now. We are no damage shy now. Send away Key Largo. Is it this guy? It's got to be on this guy, right? Because he survives? No, he would still die. You don't have reach? No. Okay. I said good day, sir. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on YouTube, on Twitch, anywhere you can find video things. Really appreciate the support. Be sure to follow and subscribe. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.